Okay, got a shoot here for you today with two really rare diamonds in the world of uh, clarity and color. And um, for those of you who haven't seen any videos that contain Solisfera rounds versus hearts and arrows, this is going to be one of those good comparisons. The diamond on the left is um, an 80 point Solisfera, an E color, internally flawless. So that's a super, super rare. Uh, clarity color combination and then combined with a diamond it weighs in the 0.8 carat range and um, interestingly we have it alongside here of a diamond that's in the 0.90s it's an F color VS1 and this diamond here uh, I would not feel unfair calling this a hearts and arrows okay if you look at the hearts and arrows imagery You'll see it's pretty much right on. There are some minor, very, very minor um, nuances that prevented it from getting our superior optical symmetry grade, which is what Hearts and Arrows gets. But the light performance is AGS Ideal, GIAX. Okay, so it's up there. It's got those rare optics. But here is the Solisfera. 91 faceted Hearts and Arrows, 57 faceted Hearts and Arrows and your brightness and contrast differences. Okay, we're gonna look at sparkle scintillation now. Okay, this is in our dimmer spotlighting environment. Okay, and um, if you think you see more fire and scintillation in the Solisfera, um, you would not be incorrect. Okay, the, um, the Solisfera does emphasize more uh, it's got your um, broad reflections. These are a little bit broader coming off the mains. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll say that. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot more pin fire flash in the Solus Farrah Diamond. Okay, and I got the sparkle filter on, which is emphasizing sp that sparkle factor too. So, but there's your sparkle scintillation differences. Now we're going to look at uh, a little bit stronger spotlighting and look at fire. Okay, so here is now a uh, similar environment in the sense that we're in spotlighting again, just a heck of a lot more spotlights, and um, and we don't have the sparkle filter on right now either. But uh, two two beautiful blockbuster stones, and I gotta say this too, um, because we're looking at an 80 point Solus Farah next to a 94 point Hearts and Arrow. Um, for all sakes and purposes, and there isn't really what I would say a tremendous size difference between the two either. So if you're watching this and you're saying, you know, gee whiz, I don't see any kind of uh, notable size difference between the Solus Farah and the Hearts and Arrows, you would be correct. There's not an astronomical size difference whatsoever. Okay. Beautiful. Both of these are beautiful diamonds too. So you know, really, a choice in either direction wouldn't be a bad choice. It all depends on which one appeals more to your eyes and your liking. Okay, because we'll st we'll stand behind both of these diamonds with lifetime policies pretty easily. And last but not least, we're gonna head over by the window. Alrighty, and here we are by the window, looking at the same two diamonds um, side by side in the same lighting. Natural ambient diffused daylight okay. and both of them you know uh, I'd say the gap closes a little more when you got them here in natural daylight but um, so take into account all of the lighting environments that we just came out of and then um, and then of course add this to the repertoire but two magnificently beautiful diamonds okay just um you know, you're round, you got, you got top of the line optics here in a 57 facet cut round. Okay. The Solus Ferra is taking the hearts and arrows to the next level. Um, so I would say this, you know, if you're, if you're after the rarity factor and you enjoy the optics of the Solus Ferra more, then that's a no-brainer decision because this is an exquisitely gorgeous diamond. This is different, okay? So if you want to get her something different than what everybody else has, okay, then you get the Solus Farah. Um, but if you, you know, some people like the tradition of the 57 facet round and, uh, and are looking to maximize the optics in it, and you couldn't have a better comparison for this video. 
than what you're looking at in these two diamonds. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope this has helped and um, a joy to shoot because they're two gorgeous diamonds. Thank you.